Hey guys, it's me, Chi the food expert. Welcome back to my channel again. It's been a very long time since my last video, so I'm pretty excited to see you guys again. Well, uh, some people ask me, Chi Chi, what can I do if I really urge for some fresh orange juice in Taiwan? Well, there are two ways to fulfill that kind of request. The first way is that you go to the stands that sell the kind of uh, the kind of fresh made juice. But I don't really recommend that because, first of all, they will put some sugar in it. And the second reason is because it's kind of expensive. Because for one cup, for like 500 milliliters, you get you have to pay for like 50 to 60 NT dollars. That's average. So um, I don't really recommend that kind of way. And the second way, which is the way that I really recommend, is... Um, going to that kind of trucks that you can see that they have a lot a lot of oranges on them and basically they sell the oranges but uh, some of the trucks also provide that kind of service which uh, you just say okay I want a, a bottle of orange juice bigger or small one they have to at least two kind of sizes and then um, you can just choose the size you want and you will say that I want for example, um, a, cu um, a bottle of a small bo bottle of um, orange juice, and you will see the uh, the owner just he or she will take the oranges and put that into a machine, and the machine will immediately make fresh orange juice for you, and that it's cheaper and it tastes better because there are no artificial um, addings to it. So yeah that would be a better choice so anyways today I'm going to show you how they um, how the truck looks like and if you can see I will also show you um, how the machine works yeah okay so are you excited I am very very excited so now let's see the clip of the truck and the machine of making the orange juice enjoy Okay, so from the screen, we can actually see this is the traditional Taiwanese market, which is called Tai Shi Chang. So this is where people are just being themselves, so it's kind of noisy. People chat, people, people talk really loudly, and they kind of bargain with the vendors. And so if you're in Taiwan and you really, really want to experience the Taiwanese culture, um, this is the best place to go because um, you can see the very traditional and typical way the Taiwanese buy stuff and that's where they are really really being themselves. So from the screen you can actually see a truck um, and it is it has a mountain of oranges on it. So this is where my drinks come from. The woman who is now walking away, she's walking towards the machine where they make orange juice from and the orange the oranges come from her husband's truck so they're like a couple who really who work really hard to make money and to survive so um, their prices are kind of low because um, from from the sign that is kind of you know spinning around with the wind um, it says si jing yuan. Si means four in Mandarin and yuan means 100 so it's like four jin jin one jin is like 600 grams so four jin is only 102 dollars that's less than four dollars so that's a bargain and the oranges taste really really good so because Taiwanese Taiwan is the kingdom of fruits so here you can see actually the woman she is making the orange juice she's pouring the orange juice out from the machine and she's she's covering it up she's covering the cover and we can just take the bottle and go. So here is the machine of making the orange juice. You can see oranges there in the basket upper on the upper part of the machine and that's where the oranges go to and they go there and the machine um, automatically cuts the oranges into half and they squeeze the juice out from the oranges. So um, that's a very cool way of making the juice. Yeah that's where the woman puts the almost spoiled orange is there because um, first of all they don't have to throw it away they can still make money out of it and secondary because they're almost spoiled it will be sweeter and it will contain natural sugar so um, that's 
where the trash, the peels of, of the oranges go to and they would just collect the peels and kind of throw it away or something like that. And this is the bottle of the orange juice. The woman just put, just pulls the, the orange juice into the, the bottle and she closes it and then we're ready to go. Interesting. I don't know if you guys have seen trucks like that in your countries or in other countries. Um, you're more than welcome to share that with me because I like to know about very um, different kinds of cultures from different kinds of countries. So that would be really exciting to me if you're willing to share, of course. So now that you know how they actually make it, let's see how the orange juice actually looks like. It looks like this one. Sorry, I've already opened it. And well, but basically it looks like this and um, this is where the orange juice is located. I mean, I have already drank the upper part. So um, yeah, that's basically the way it looks like. And this is the small one. And um, there is also a bigger one, which I can never ever finish um, by myself because this kind of like I mentioned before, this kind of orange juice doesn't have any artificial addings to it. So, um, in other words, you have to finish this in a very short period. Like, the best time would be, like, within two hours from the time when you buy it. So, um, but basically people, it would be better if you, like, drink it, um, before the day ends so which means you have to drink it the day you buy it that would be the freshest choice because um, my last orange juice I put that into the fr the refrigerator for um, for one day and then it just it became like soda okay so that's not good and you don't want to get sick for drinking spoiled orange juice right so yeah and that's just pull the orange juice into a cup and see how it looks like like this one so that's what happens when you pull the orange juice into a glass I hope you guys have seen stuff like this before okay cheers so good yeah, so that's basically it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be very, very happy and very honored to answer you and help you with the problems you have. So thank you so much. Don't forget to write me some messages and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching and please, if you have any requests, let me know and I'll try my very best to fulfill that request. Thank you so much for watching. This is Chi Chi the Food Expert. See you next time, hopefully very soon. Bye!